Howdy, I'm Tim and got the rest of my crew here. This is the Hoping Machine. It's a 30 foot, 34 foot long Bluebird bus. Now, if you're looking at doing a conversion, first of all, I'll tell you first place to go www.schooly.net, S K O O L I E.net. A whole community of people doing this. One of the first things you have to do if you're getting a school bus, you gotta take the name of the school off there. We cover it with primer. Um, it's gonna be part of the overall paint job later. This, the stop sign also has to come off. I don't have a, the heart to take it off a day before I have to. Now what we're gonna do up here, is up here, so that's gonna come out, the school bus is gonna come out and it's gonna say the hoping machine. And uh, along the side, we've got some special stuff. I'm not gonna give away everything, um, but uh, we'll kind of keep you updated as the uh, day goes on. As the time goes on. Anyway, I come up in here. We're getting started. This is the exciting part. And my daughter Toby is doing the recording. So these are the first seats today we took and we put a little framing in. Oops. Please do not think too much on the construction. I am not a construction person. It'll look better in the end. So we've got these uh this plywood down we went to the subfloor now what you got to do when you go to the subfloor you're going to take these uh we take these seats out which they're already out we took the seats out the first weekends the seats have bolts in them now first of all you're going to think ratchet with the bolts doesn't work for a number of reasons if you want to look it up um but ultimately it doesn't work so your best your best bet is an angle grinder so we took an angle grinder we ground, we ground these seats out then what we saw, this is a 1988 bus, and we saw that the subfloor, there was a, the rubber was cracked and rotting, and there was plywood subfloor underneath, and the plywood subfloor was in terrible condition. So we ripped it all up, we ground it down, uh, we put the uh, rust reformer on there, that uh, it works to convert the rust to a uh, paintable surface. So that's what we've got underneath. We're putting plywood down, we're going to put a floor underlay. This front part here, is going to be um, it's going to be a loft but the trick is we're going to go ahead and have the seat fold up so we can get passage to the front and the back uh, during the you know whenever we're moving these seats um, are going to be lower lofts we're going to take two uh, extra seat cushions we're going to rig up a, a seat in there and we're going to put a table in the middle and uh, have them facing forward and back uh, then behind there we're going to have our kitchen uh, then Amy and I are gonna have our space and then we'll have the bathroom and then we'll have a storage room in the back uh, So we're looking forward to this adventure and um, For those who don't know the concept of the hoping machine it actually comes from Woody Guthrie And so the blog is named uh, the justice hoping machine blog because I don't want any confusion uh, With anything that Woody Guthrie's grandchildren are doing um, to carry on his legacy and so that is our first video and um, Hope you like it and I hope you stay with us through this journey and uh Hopefully one day we'll see you on the road and you'll say, oh yeah, I remember when, I remember those, get it out. So uh, thank you and thank you for watching this blog.